it's me, Teacher Jean. In this lesson, you will learn about Add and Subtract Rational Algebraic Expressions. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to add and subtract rational algebraic expressions with like or same denominator. We need to recall adding and subtracting fractions, loss of exponents, operations on integers, multiplying polynomials, factoring polynomials, simplifying rational algebraic expressions. Similar fractions are fractions that have the same or equal denominators. The examples are 1 third, 2 thirds, 3 thirds, 4 thirds, and so on. As you noticed, we have the same or like denominators. For warm up, you need to answer the question What is the opposite of hate? To decode the answer, you need to perform the indicated operation of the following fractions. First, we have letter E, 4 over 5 plus 1 over 5. As you noticed, we have the same or like denominators. For the solution, we're going to add the numerator, then copy the common denominator, then perform the indicated operation, 4 plus 1, we have 5 over 5, and 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1. Then, we're going to write E above 1. For letter L, we have negative 5 over 8 plus 3 over 8. So, add the numerator, negative 5 plus 3, then copy the common or same denominator. For negative 5 plus 3, we're going to apply the rule of integers. Given different signs, we're going to subtract and follow the sign of the greater absolute value. So, the result is negative 2 over 8. Negative 2 over 8 have a common factor which is 2. So negative 2 divided by 2 is equal to negative 1. 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. So the lowest term is negative 1 over 4 or negative 1 fourth. So we're going to write L above negative 1 fourth. Next, we have letter V, 2 over 9 minus 4 over 9. So here, we're going to subtract the numerator, 2 minus 4. Then copy the common or same denominator, 9. 2 minus 4 is equal to negative 2 over 9. Negative 2 and 9 have no in common, therefore, that is the lowest term. So if we have negative on the numerator, we can also write the negative aligned on the fraction bar. So they are equal. Then we're going to write letter V above negative 2 over 9. For letter O, we have 7 over 15 minus 4 over 15. So we're going to subtract the numerator, 7 minus 4, then copy the common or same denominator, which is 15. So 7 minus 4 is equal to 3 over 15. 3 and 15 have common, which is 3. So 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1, and 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5. So the lowest term is 1 over 5. Then we write O above 1 over 5. So the opposite of hate is love. More means we're going to add and less means we're going to subtract. So we must share more love and less hate. To add or subtract rational expressions with like or same denominators, first we're going to add or subtract the numerators. Second, copy the common or same denominator. Third, simplify or reduce the result to its lowest if possible. Given a over b plus c over b, that is equal to a plus c over b. And a over b minus c over b, that is equal to a minus c over b. Now, for you to understand, let's have the following examples. Perform the indicated operations. For number 1, we have 3x over x plus 2 plus 6 over x plus 2. Now, as you noticed, we have the same or like denominators. First, we're going to add the numerator. So, we have 3x plus 6. Then, copy the common denominator, x plus 2. 
factor the numerator, so 3x plus 6 has a common monomial factor, which is 3. So factor out 3, we have the remaining x plus 2, as we divide 3x plus 6 by 3. Then copy x plus 2. Next, cancel all common factors. So we have there what we call the common binomial factor. Same first term, same second term. So x plus 2 divided by x plus 2 is equal to 1. Then multiply the remaining, 3 times 1 is equal to 3. For number 2, we have 3 over x minus 1 minus 2 over x minus 1. First, we're going to subtract or combine the numerator. So 3 minus 2. Then copy the common or same denominator. So we have x minus 1. Then perform the indicated operation on the numerator. 3 minus 2 is equal to 1 over x minus 1. So that is the final answer. For number 3, we have 16x squared over 4x minus 3 minus 9 over 4x minus 3. So first, we're going to subtract the numerator. So we have 16x squared minus 9. Then copy the common denominator, 4x minus 3. Then factor the numerator, 16x squared minus 9 is considered the difference of two squares. So the factor is the quantity 4x plus 3 times the quantity 4x minus 3. Then copy 4x minus 3. Next, cancel all common factors. So we have there the common binomial factor, same first term, same second term, 4x minus 3 divided by 4x minus 3 is equal to 1. Then multiply the remaining, the result is 4x plus 3 as the final answer. For number 4, we have 2m squared over m minus 1 plus m squared plus 1 all over 1 minus m. Now, as you noticed, m minus 1 is different with 1 minus m. So, we need to factor out negative 1 out of 1 minus m to get m minus 1. So, the result is 2m squared over m minus 1 plus m squared plus 1 all over negative 1 times the quantity m minus 1. Then, multiply the numerator by negative 1. So, the result is 2m squared over m minus 1 plus negative 1 times the quantity m squared plus 1 all over m minus 1. So, negative is not allowed on the denominator, so we need to put it on the numerator. Then, use distributive property, we're going to multiply negative 1 on the first term m squared and on the second term 1. So, the result is 2m squared minus m squared minus 1. Then, copy the common denominator, m minus 1. For the numerator, we're going to combine similar terms. So, 2m squared minus m squared, the result is m squared minus 1 all over m minus 1. Then factor the numerator, which is considered the difference of two squares. And the factor is the quantity m plus 1 times the quantity m minus 1, all over m minus 1. Then cancel all common factors. We have there the common binomial m minus 1 divided by m minus 1 is equal to 1. Then multiply the remaining, the result is m plus 1 as the final answer. For number 5, we have x squared minus 2x all over x minus 3 minus x minus 6 all over 3 minus x. Now, as you notice, x minus 3 is different from 3 minus x. So, we're going to factor out negative 1 out of 3 minus x to get x minus 3. So, the result is x squared minus 2x all over x minus 3 minus x minus 6 all over negative 1 times the quantity x minus 3. Then, we're going to multiply the minus sign by negative 1. So, the result is x squared minus 2x all over x minus 3. So, negative times negative, that will become positive. Then, copy x minus 6 all over x minus 3. Then, add the numerator. We have x squared minus 2x plus x minus 6. Then, copy the common denominator, x minus 3. Then, combine similar terms on the numerator. So, we copy x squared, negative 2x plus x is negative x minus 6 all over x minus 3. Then, factor the numerator. And that is in the form x squared plus bx plus c, where a is equal to 1. 
So that is equal to the quantity x minus 3 times the quantity x plus 2 all over x minus 3. Then cancel all common factors. We have there the common binomial factor. Same first term, same second term. x minus 3 divided by x minus 3 is equal to 1. Then multiply the remaining. The result is x plus 2 as the final answer. Now it's your turn. Do it yourself. Perform the indicated operations. Don't forget to comment down below your answers. Happy learning! Thanks for watching! Please like and share. And don't forget to subscribe on my channel and click the bell button so that you will be notified whenever I'm going to upload a new one. Maraming salamat!